Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Mirror Neuron which means watch and learn and today we are going to discuss about 10 questions uh, those are being asked by a data science manager and typically that's my role <laughs> when I uh, get a initial introduction about the project so this I, these are the 10 things that I ask uh, to my team. Okay. So the first question that I usually ask and discuss with my team is the cost, right? So what I mean by cost is how much profit uh, will my data science project bring? Is it like $10 million or pound, depending on you know what project we are in? And what are the expenses that we have? How many servers do we need? Uh, how are we going to you know manage the data? how many resources do we need uh, when we say resources that means human resources and so on and that is the first important questions that we discuss the second question is typically how long is it going to build the project so we call it as duration and in whatever the sprints uh, are we going to take uh, you know to complete the project so the third question is uh, do we have uh, the relevant data already collected. If we don't have relevant data, then the first challenge is to solve that problem. We need to collect relevant data pertaining to the problem that we're trying to solve. Is it demographic data or is it region-wise data or is it transaction data? If you're trying to solve a fraud detection problem, then we definitely need the customer details as well as the transaction data and so on. So the first uh, the third question that we uh, explore is the relevant data. The fourth question uh, in this case is what is the data quality? So we might have a lot of data but the data could be noisy. There could be so much of missing data. Now the missing data of course obviously is a very specific uh, and very important for our project. So the first is the quality of the data and the fifth one is missing data. And when we have missing data we actually cannot you know build our machine learning model so we see why the data was missing on the first place right is it because of some randomness or is it possible that we can go and collect those missing data as well so this is a very important topic in data science project both the quality as well as the missing data okay obviously quality and missing data can be clubbed together into one but i would like to keep them as separate okay the sixth topic is can we explain our stakeholders whoever the investors are whoever the business people are the benefit of this machine learning project other than the profit can we also explain what are the other benefits probably it will help us you know reuse the code probably it will help us launch new project right quickly rather than just you know there could be many steps that we can do it now once for all and that can be reused several times and which will eventually of course make us more profit or give us uh, you know quick turnaround time with new projects as well as uh, you know make some extra money of course because whatever time we save it's equivalent to the money that we consider okay so this is like extra benefits right okay what is the seventh question that I typically ask or any data science manager would definitely ask is how are we going to deploy that in the production? Now this is very important. Deploy in production is very important. We have to know our strategy to go live. Is it going to be a simple web-based solution or just a software with an exe file or is it going to be deployed in a mobile devices like you know it's like an image processing tool etc how are you going to deploy this there are so many good courses nowadays online i have put a couple of them in the description section of this video so you can definitely go and check out you should definitely make sure you understand these steps deploying model, machine learning models in production is very important okay what is the eighth eighth part is how can we verify or monitor the model performance say we went live right now we want to make sure that our projects and our um, you know whatever we deployed is actually performing and it's meeting our objectives if it is not then that's a challenge so we have to make sure we monitor our model performance these topics are also covered here in these courses which you can find in the description section so you might want to go and check it out okay what is the ninth most important thing 
does anyone in the team already have a business understanding of the problem that we are trying to solve so for example if i'm trying to solve a credit risk problem in a bank then i would like to know what is the customer journey how does a customer go and avail a loan maybe a mortgage or a student loan or a vehicle loan I need to know what is the step-by-step -step procedure of that particular loan processing so that it gives me a good understanding that where might a customer default and not be able to pay off the loan right so for a bank this is very important okay so this is like domain knowledge okay now we are in the final part one of the tenth question which is very important is who will be the end users we have to clearly identify the end users because once we know the end users we should be able to define how our final version of the product would look like should it be an app because people who are in the sales field they need the uh, you know uh, the machine learning model to be able to be able to operate from their mobile phone so we need to think of strategy like that these are the 10 very common questions typically a data science manager would ask to his team and then build a strategy in how to solve a problem all right i hope you have learned some insights how we do things in the real world real world and please make sure that you you know go through all these 10 points all over again and try to prepare accordingly for your next interview thank you and please stay tuned for more content